Christy Jean here, Bad Beat 20. Chase finally came to join us. That's it. How are you doing, Chase? I'm doing well. It's, it's been a while. It's been about a year, I think. It's been a while. Close to like maybe last summer. Yeah. Yeah. The last time we talked, we were talking about Black Dynamite. We what were. else is going on for you? Well, Black Dynamite is over now. I'm working at I'm at Warner Brothers. We have like three new Batman directed video movies coming out. They're gonna be really dope. The Killing Joke. Um, that one's like the first rated R one, which is really, really big because normally they go for this mixed audience. This time they're just staying like really close to the source material because it's a fan favorite. So I'm excited about that. Uh, a couple others I can't really announce yet because any genres you can throw out there, just give an idea. Well, that was kind of like Victorian, steampunk, horror kind of thing, you know what I mean? Um, Did you say horror or horror? Horror. Horror. Sounds good. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, I'm from the South, you know like what I'm saying? There's a little twang on it, you know what I'm saying? So, yo, yeah, we got that. Um, we have one that's like sci fi. It's kind of sci fi. It's in the canon of like what's going on, though, so nothing too crazy. Um, what's your favorite genre? My favorite genre? I mean, it's a crazy you question. No, I think sci-fi, yeah. probably. Sci-fi sci and maybe more contemporary stuff too. I like to kind of day-to-day, -day, you know, mundane tasks that people kind of go through. I think that there's a lot of wealth there too. You and said, you can add a lot of fun You said one though that's kind of like a timepiece? How was that? Doing? Yeah, well, that's, damn, can, I, can, can I say it? Okay, we can I can't say it. it. I will say that, um, it's an adaptation from like, I guess maybe late 80s, early 90s. Huge, huge comic book superstar. He has his own movie based off his character. Right. Kinda in the vein of Batman and a lot of red. You guys something like that. So I, I don't want to get in trouble, but it's really dope. It's, uh, it's, it's actually, I'm, I'm gonna just say this. I'll just say it. It's uh, Gotham by Gaslight. Which is done by Mike Mignola, the dude that made Hellboy. So it's an adaptation of like this is the book he did before he ever created Hellboy. One of the books he did when he drew that he drew when he just uh, he discovered the type of content that he wanted to draw. You know what I mean? So it's really inspired, and uh, it's a Jack the Ripper story. So it's nothing like the typical Batman. So I'm excited, man. I'm working on it right now. So what's probably the hardest project for you? You work hard on all of them, of course. But what do you think is probably the hardest? I would say my own personal stuff. Like, you know, I think last time we spoke briefly about Trilly, yeah. which is like a, yes, yeah, like a socio, I mean, how can I say, a socio-political kind of satire of like superheroes in their everyday lives. You know what I mean? Which is really funny, actually. I mean, like if you had superpowers, super speed, what would you do day to day? That kind of stuff. That's what would you do day to day if you had a superpower? Not be at work. That's, that's probably <laughs> I probably that's just, right probably just steal stuff, you know what I mean? This the typical stuff, you know what I mean? It'd be easy that way. No, no, seriously. What? I don't know what I would do. I don't know what I would do. I don't know if I want to have super speed though. I'd rather teleport. Yeah. Teleport? Yeah. So I can All just right, be gone. I'm cool with that. But I would like it for the simple fact that you can just say, I want to be in London right now and just snap. That'd be London. amazing. Right? That would be amazing. So if you can go anywhere with your work, what about In terms of just career wise? Or just like location of it. Man, I wouldn't mind like chilling on a remote island for a little bit. I'm cool with that. Okay. Just like shut everybody out. I deal with so many people day to day. Uh, Cause it's such a team effort. I wouldn't mind just sitting back and just like painting and doing what I wanted to do for the first time. And I don't even know how long. You know what I mean? That would be amazing to me. So anywhere I could just do that would be fine. It could be a broom closet, not a broom closet. That would be Something a little bit more fly than that, you know what I mean? I think but a little bit more light and more. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I would say that. All right. Well, I'm glad to have you back at the Thank you. Today. I appreciate Bad it. Bad Beat 20. I'm what here. What are you looking for most when you go inside? As always, I'm looking for good stand up. I'm, you know, I always talk about being a boxing fan. I want some good stand up. I wouldn't mind a nice KO, except I think last time a couple of the fights went really short. Like somebody got tagged. Uh, no, I hope, quick sometimes. Yeah, yeah man. Really quick. You know what I mean? So I wouldn't mind a nice, good, good slugfest or something that has a, a nice mixture of like action and some like technical prowess there. You know what I mean? And then I'm happy. I'm easy to please. So. But you like the technical side because this guy's all about the technical, great artist. Thank you. Some great things from Chase Comedy. I appreciate it. Be looking for it.